Hello there, so today I'll be covering a project called Arabian CEO. Uh, these guys at the moment are trying to launch within the pink seal a pre-sale. And as usual, I'll be doing my sort of like a deep dive into the project itself. And I'll be sharing with you all my thoughts and findings on the project itself. So as usual, I'll start with investment proposal analysis, analysis of what we have in front of us within the pink seal pre-seal itself. So these guys have audit badge, meaning that the contract was checked, audited by a third party for any errors or mistakes. They have keys badge, meaning that one of the owners was doxxed, uh, just in case if there is any fraud. Um, the pre-seal itself is for 50 BNB. And as you can see, there is uh, 35 participants at the moment. Max allocation requirement is 9.5 BNB. Uh, hard cap per user, uh, 2 BNB worth of tokens. At the moment, apparently, these guys raised 462 BNB. Now, I'm not too sure if the pink sale is bugged or something, but that's what the numbers show, at least at this point. Now, looking further, in total, uh, there will be 1 billion of RCU tokens. Um, for the hard cap, there will be allocation of 270 million tokens, uh, and for the soft cap of 33.33 BNB, there will be 180 million token uh, soft cap. Now, the tokens that don't sell out for whatever reason will be burned, and it's really, really important to mention that. 51% of the raised funds from the pre-sale will be going towards the liquidity pool, meaning that 49% of those 50 BNB or whatever the pink sale shows us uh, is essentially going towards the team. Now, uh, when it comes to other token metrics, so 27% of the tokens are for pre-sale, 13% uh, for liquidity pool, 11.9% of the tokens are unlocked for whatever reason, and 48% of the tokens will be burned. Looking further uh, into analytics audit, there's no mint function, owner cannot mint more tokens, owner can't change fees over 25%, owner can't set max transaction fees, owner can't change trading status, owner can't set any blacklists. Uh, when it comes about their social media reach and presence, uh, so on Twitter they have almost 2,000 followers, 18 people actively following them, uh, they have only uh, 600 subscribers on Telegram. And when it comes about Instagram, they have five posts, 975 followers, and four of them actively following them. Now, going back into the pink sale or pre-sale itself, uh, their page, as I mentioned, they have audit and keys. So, uh, keys was done by Cyberscope. As you can see, they have the certificate from the Cyberscope on 8th of March, 2023. Uh, audit itself was done by Cyberscope as well on March, 2023. Quite a standard contract. Um, uh, just the usual stuff. With that being said, uh, so when we go to their website, as you can see, this is their website and... Well, what is the idea behind the project? Uh, the idea behind the project, as you can see, uh, is to make this um, new hottest uh, new crypto meme coin with a name that executes power and prestige. Uh, this coin, uh, according to them, is perfect addition to any investor's portfolio. Now, looking further... Uh, so they have this some sort of like a branding and marketing strategy in place. Uh, team is experienced, according to them. Uh, they have a roadmap. Uh, they have a roadmap. So idea phrase, uh, logo, website launch, and all that stuff. Audit keys, uh, marketing, pancake launch, partnerships, and new utilities. When we look at the tokenomics page, now uh, tokenomics page, uh, it is it is important to mention that tokenomics page. It is it is it is different from what we see within the pink sale. Uh, so the burn, uh, burn within the pink sale is uh, forty eight percent. Within the website is fifty four percent. Liquidity eighteen percent. In the website thirteen percent. There is this unlocked portion of the tokens. Where are those tokens? Who knows? Uh, so there is some sort of like a mistakes right away, literally just in a website. Now, uh, it is important to mention that it will have buy tax of 4%, sell tax of 4% as well. And literally, that is it. And that is their website. Now, looking into their white, white paper, Arabian CEO, once again. So, introduction. Arabian CEO is a new meme coin that aims to disrupt the traditional financial industry by leveraging, uh, leveraging the power of memes. Their mission is to create fun and engaging currency that brings people together and creates a community around Arabian business culture. And... Uh, 
yeah the roadmap includes essentially launching of the token some marketing integration with various DeFi platforms and dApps listing on major cryptocurrency exchanges partnerships and collaborations with other blockchain projects tokenomics when it comes about the tokenomics so as they mentioned the total supply 50% uh, will be burned once again there is mistakes um, the amount of the tokens that they will burn is 48% uh, and according to them uh, this burn will uh, ensure scarcity and increase the value of remaining tokens which is also a lie uh, burn will increase your tokens only if it's done after the pre-sale and the assumption is that the team is burning their own their, their portion of the tokens when the tokens are burned in this way like they're doing right now or like literally before the launch of the token like literally you can burn 48 or let's say 50 percent of the tokens or instead of 1 billion tokens you can just start at 500 million tokens so you know uh, this sort of like a part is somewhat of a lie looking further uh, the remaining 50 percent will be distributed among the community through various mechanisms including liquidity provision and airdrops uh, team consists uh, a nice story and that is it the white paper is literally six pages long so now when it comes about this project my personal thoughts and opinions on the project itself uh, so from the very beginning it is important to mention that the half of the funds of the pre-sale uh, will be going directly to the team so essentially it's sort of like uh, uh, to get back your money you need someone to pump the token to x yeah uh, looking into the token metrics uh, token metrics according to the website uh, the details that they have within the website the details they, that they have within the white pair do not match up uh, they do not match up and there is no mention of what will be the purpose of these 12% of unlocked tokens now looking into the website itself website and white paper are done quite poorly um, uh, done quite poorly I guess I guess not sort of like a by experienced users N not mentioning the mistakes uh, let's say if we talk just about the project uh, just about uh, the product behind the project they have these sort of like a mentions uh, that token will be incorporated within uh, major cryptocurrency exchanges the five platforms they will have partnerships collaborations they plan to do this that and that literally within one sentence description but in reality if you look at this literally all they have all they have is is a contract that was done by a pink sale uh, they have uh, they have a picture, uh, a website that was made in twenty minutes, and a white paper white paper that was done in another ten minutes. When it comes about the project itself, it has literally nothing to offer. Uh, there is obvious mistakes. Uh, things do not add up, and uh, there is no product. Uh, there is no product. There is literally nothing to this thing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing and yeah those are the sort of like a thoughts uh people that chose to invest into this project uh 37 participants i congratulate them on losing their money and uh, uh, that's all there is to it uh, please uh, do not invest into such a obvious um cash grabs there's 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 nothing to this thing literally and uh, those are my sort of like a personal thoughts and opinions on the project itself. Uh, no product. Half of the funds disappear right away. Mistakes. Mm, no explanations of why they're keeping the tokens. And and literally the whole so sort of like a white paper could be described like literally in four sentences. In terms of their mission, uh, products and stuff like that. Literally. All they have is a website and a logo and a contract that most likely was done by a pink sale what is even the point of this thing none just a cash grab so those are my personal thoughts and findings on the project itself now by all means uh, feel free to agree with me uh, disagree with me uh, feel free to leave a like a dislike 
comment. And as usual, um, nothing I say is per uh, sort of like a financial advice, uh, just my personal opinion only. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for your time today. Bye.